authors of the new book, Teen Queries, are Gay Dell and her son Lucas. Gay has a Bachelor in Fine Arts and Education and a third degree from the University of Florida, combining two interests, art and creative writing. At present, she has 11 books for children in print and has written, illustrated and provided the graphic design for them. She taught primary school children art and university level graphic design and marketing principles. She owned an advertising agency in Florida catering to a varied base for mere more than 20 years. In her early years, Gay represented Australia in both the Olympics and Commonwealth Games and is a proud owner of a silver medal for the 100 metre hurdles in 1974 in Christchurch. She's a little slower these days. Lucas is taking a gap year after finishing high school on Tambourine Mountain. He moved to Australia in 2004 with his mother from the United States and had had the advantage of experiencing diverse cultures. It has given him a vision beyond his 19 years. His interests are alternative medicine and belief systems and kickboxing. He has worked at a local cafe and as a writer and is a great dancer. <laughs> so Teen Queries, who came up with the idea for writing the book? Well, it was kind of a combined effort. Yeah. It was just... Um, we took notice of some of the questions that were being asked and some of the answers that were being given and we're like, hey, this is could be pretty helpful. interesting. Yeah, it could be helpful for other people in the same situation as us. So yeah, yeah. it was pretty much a combined effort. I think most people wouldn't think of writing a book with a family member. What kind of relationship do you two have? Um, well, interesting. 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 <laughs> Just never leave. Yeah, so it's like as all relationships, um, it goes. They go through their their highs and their lows. <laughs> no, we have a good, we have a nice close relationship. It's been just the two of us um, since Lucas was born, and so probably our relationship is closer than um, the average yeah, uh, teen and parent, I think. So, and we lived away from Australia, so really there were we were just each other's support for a yeah. long time. So, yeah. So, why did you two choose to write a book like this? Well, it wasn't actually so much for us particularly as um, other kids, actually. It was, um, when I was going through this whole thing, I noticed that a lot of my other friends were too. Like, some were questioning if they were gay or bisexual, possibly even trans. And they didn't even have that much knowledge on the subject, because there weren't that many resources out there of this particular nature. And it wasn't even just for them, they had no way of starting conversations with their parents or teachers or anyone like that. So a lot of people who shouldn't have been in the dark were, and it's just an easy way to get a conversation started and, you know, yeah. help some people learn some stuff. Yeah, it was about starting, it was about starting the conversation. Really. Yeah. yeah, definitely the case. And so Gay, how do you feel about Lucas being gay? I'm fine with Lucas being gay, obviously. I've got made this very public forum. Um, uh, at first, it was a little bit of a shock. I, I um, wasn't sure how to feel about it, to be quite honest. But now, of course, I'm, I'm a little bit more educated. Um, and it's as though um, Lucas's choices in his hairstyles or his sexuality are about the same for me now. Yeah. It's like he is who he is. So. So, do you think that this book could be as good for parents of gay children as for the children themselves? Absolutely. Definitely. I think it's, um, I mean, it, the book is in the form of a conversation, so it's very relaxed and, and it's very easy reading. And the whole point of that was to show that you can be very straightforward about very, very tricky subjects and um, just come at them, put them on the table and just answer them. And um, so I think it would be very helpful if a, if a, a parent had a child and, and um, they came out and said, I'm gay, what, you know, it, it, uh -huh. gives, yeah, it gives the parent something to look to to see how somebody else answered that same kind of tricky question. So you mentioned before that the format of the book is a conversation between a mum and a gay son. Do you think straight children or lesbians could get any value out from reading it as well? Um, yes, maybe not the same kind of value, but at the same time, seeing someone go through this kind of process, it's, it's helpful and it's, if not for that specific person, um, to realise how another person went through it, to actually, you know, kind of realise how things happen. And, that's a terrible answer. Yeah, that's, no, that's okay. No, I have an answer. It's, it's, well, of course. I think that um, 
I'm, I'm raising a, a boy. I'm not raising um, a girl and there are differences and he teaches me things as we go through this little journey. Um, yeah. Even though we're a different gender, well, our orientations are the same. Um, I think he can teach me things, I can teach him things and I think just to know more is probably way better than to, to have a mystery about the whole um, whole situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And so what age group would you say the book is directed to? Um, well, it's for those who are just starting to get in touch with their sexuality, mostly. That's the main target audience. And so that's, you know, um, just hitting puberty, um, ages between 12 to 15. But there again, I yeah, think then it's, again. Yeah, we're, we're also wanting for parents and anyone that supervises kids or is around kids in the same situation, um, will have a basis for starting a conversation if, if it's required. So I'm thinking, you know, the, the main target group was um, pre-pubescent or pubescent um, um, children or young people, I guess, but then also all the adults and, and yeah, all the adults in their life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So in the book, Lucas, you said that you wanted a child. How equipped are you, do you feel, to raise a straight child? That is a difficult one, but it's, I think a lot of people are faced with the same kind of worry when um, they realise their own child is gay. Straight parents raising a gay child, sometimes they may feel inadequate, but you can only do the best you can do. And really in the end, it's how you support the child and the love that you give to them. That's right, it's the principles, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the you principles. Know, I mean, and healthy principles yeah. apply to straight or gay children, really. Definitely. Yeah. Also in the book, it was mentioned that a family member said that you were just trying to get attention. What, what would you say to this family member now? Um, well, you're wrong. <laughs> no, um, it was spoken out of ignorance, which a lot of people do speak out of these days, sadly. Um, he didn't try to research, he didn't try to understand. He just, it was all too hard. And so he said, you know, he just had to blow it off and well, I don't think he thinks the same way now, which is good. Yeah. That's why we're writing this book, so people don't act like that. Yeah. yeah. So the conversation or the, these yeah. kinds of issues can be out in the world for people to discuss and it not be... I think it was really more the comment came from a, well, I don't want to hear about this, oh, so yeah. it's probably not true. He probably just wants attention and it was. It didn't come out of a, a meanness or a... It just came yeah, out of a not malicious. wanting to deal with it at all. So, and, you know, it, it'll be... Yeah. yeah. So Gay, how do you feel that this book will be able to help gay kids? I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm hoping that it will, and I'm hoping that um, it will help the, the adults in their lives as well. So I'm, I'm really um, excited about getting it out there. We've got a, I've got a blog on my website, um, and so that I'm trying to encourage... Are you laughing at me? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage a conversation out there in the world um, in terms of the blog as well, and Lucas will be answering or making comments as well. So, I, yeah, I'm, I'm into it. So. And did either of you learn anything from writing the book together? Yes. Oh my god, some of the definitions we had to look up but you know. Yeah. But quite yeah. interesting, like the actual definitions of sodomy and what that actually constitutes isn't yeah. Yeah. what we traditionally believe it to be. Right, right. So yeah, there, well, there was that kind of learning, but also we yeah. learned that we actually could work together even though he's oh. a difficult team. Oh. <laughs> no, well, I think that what, what came out of it was um, a nice bond of work between Lucas and I, yeah. of him, you know, and he's now launching into adulthood and um, we have a nice open um, communication going. So that's good. Yes, yeah. that neither one of us are dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. It's quite bad. The other and situation. you know, we relied on each other to proof and, yeah. and the, the mechanics of the book. So um, yeah, it was a really, it was a very productive exercise, and we feel as though it's, uh, it shows in the in the, in the final yeah. manuscript. We hope so. We have so. Yeah. Gay, can you tell us your favourite question from the book and why it was your favourite? Um. Wow. Well, uh, there's a lot of questions that I really like. Um, I guess one of the ones that um, it seems so obvious but um, was, should I tell my family doctor? And that was a concern for Lucas. He was thinking, well, I should tell the doctor, but, you know, I don't really feel comfortable about doing that. 
And really, my response um, in the in the book was, tell the doctor if it if it applies to a, a sexually transmitted disease or whatever. But you know, it's it's really always the choice of a person what they what they share, and um, if. The reason you're at the doctor has nothing to do with your sexuality. There's no reason to tell him. The only reason, of course, is to to share that kind of thing with a doctor, so he can take he or she can take much better care of you. And that's the, the choice is always yours, and the timing of that choice is always always up to the person. Yeah. And how about you, Luca? A favourite question from the book? What is sodomy? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was. <laughs> That was quite a conversation we had one yeah, day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, that was that was an interesting night. Yeah. It's a message that goes throughout the book too, that make sure that you're informed. The information these days is so easy to obtain on, you know, Google, um, that one should always keep um, oneself informed. And that was one of them. We, we found all these different sources conflicting. Make up your own mind, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So are you getting anyone else involved to bring about awareness in the community at the moment? Oh, that's the next stage. Um, we're hoping to get in contact with some um, really influential gay members of society, like Bob Brown uh, and the such. Yeah. Bit of a personal yeah. here, the leader yeah. of the Greens. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, you know, entertainers, and just yeah. uh, we're asking them to make a comment that might help other kids. and. Um, that way we figure that the conversation will be bigger and um, we're hoping to pop those up on the on the website and yeah. in fact um, maybe for a second uh, printing we'll, we'll include those in, in the book as well. Yeah. So the book's just come out, how right. can people go about getting a copy for themselves? Here it is, right here. here. Is. We have um, a hard copy and um, an e-book. The, uh, both both uh, versions are available on Google as we speak. Um, you can also um, come to my website, which is uh, www.gaydel.com. Um, and G A Y E. G A Y E. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> What a gay thing, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, it's available on my website and um, on Google at the moment, um, but it'll be distributed um, throughout Australia in the major bookstores in the next month or so. Exciting. And um, later on, we're, we're putting it up on iTunes too as an ebook, but at the moment, we've got it as a hard uh, copy, $17.50, and the ebook is $8.50. Yeah. So there you go. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> it is. It's pretty exciting. Well, thanks a lot for the chat today. Just to finish up, if you had one thing that you could say to a gay teen right now, what would it be? Start with you, Lucas. Oh wow, mate. It's, during that point of your life, it's it's a mess. On your when you're learning, any time that you go into yourself and really learn more about yourself, it's going to be hard. There's no easy way. There's no oh, woke up this morning. I like men, turns out. It's not just like, oh, you know, glitter and rainbows and everything. It is it is a hard journey, but it's one that when you reach, you never really reach the end of it. But it, you learn to take life a bit easier with it all. You know, it's it's no longer such a burden. It gets easier. It gets better. Well, well I guess I kind of echo that too. It's hard going through high school. Mm. Um, puberty is tough on everyone. People, I don't know, teenage tend to gossip a lot or just have fun, you know, at other people's expense and, and you know, high school is tough and, you know, high school finishes and then you get to either further your education or go out in the real world and meet people that are much more like yourself. And really, I guess the one thing I would say is don't, you don't have to, it's up to you, but you can, you don't have to define yourself by your sexuality or your choice of sexuality either. Um, because you're gay doesn't make you any different really from anyone else. It just means that you choose to be with someone of the same gender and really that's not a big deal at all. So I guess that's what I that's what I would say. Good one thing. Well put, thank you, darling. Well, thanks very much for the chat today and we're all very excited to see what projects you two might be coming out with in the future. Well thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.